What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. My name is Jordan Shallow. I'm a strength and conditioning coach, chiropractor, and powerlifter. Today we're going to go over some movement prerequisites for the barbell deadlift. Now, a lot of conversation around is the deadlift safe? Is it effective movement? Is it worth your risk of the lower back? Today we're going to go over one movement in particular that's going to assess whether or not the barbell deadlift is for you. So there's a lot of talk about how to keep our low back safe around the deadlift, or should we even utilize the deadlift as a movement with the potential risk of low back pain? And a lot of times people start to look in, in very kind of obscure places to find the answer, right? And well, if I do a bird dog or some sort of anti-rotation drill on my hands and knees, will my core be stable enough to withstand a deadlift? For me, it's very simple. We want to have correspondent stability to the movement that we're trying to utilize. So the deadlift has our hands on a bar where we need to utilize our lats as our primary stable of our lower back. So a movement like a properly executed body weight pull up is going to be a great prerequisite to see if we have the strength and coordination through our lats to stabilize our own spine against our own body weight. The barbell is going to allow us to load much more than our own body weight to our spine, to our lats. So starting off with being able to control and manage and coordinate our own body weight through the strength of our lats will be a good place to start. So we're going to walk through a basic pull up as a prerequisite to be able to start to load the barbell deadlift. So with hands pronated or double overhand grip on the bar, which will be likely where you start your progression of the, of the deadlift, we're going to go just outside of shoulder width apart. And the first thing I want you to focus on is learning how to externally rotate your shoulders with your palms facing forward. So that's to say pointing your elbows to the front of the room, creating that external rotation. This is going to allow us to start to utilize our lats to extend our shoulders and pull us up towards the bar. So, Double overhand grip, just outside of shoulder width apart. Initiate from a dead hang, elbows forward, chin over the bar, back down. Start from that rested internally rotated position. Externally rotate again, chin over the bar, then back down. So this shows a competency and an ability to express the strength of your lats and the coordination through your shoulders to stabilize your spine, which is then closely transfer over to the way we're gonna use our lats when supporting our low back in a movement like a deadlift. All right guys, hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of Mind Pump TV. Hope you found it useful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. For more content like this, be sure to find me on YouTube at The Muscle Doc on YouTube.